This is the coach that everybody saw in the gunfight. Um, Tell us, you weren't with him at the time, correct? You were preparing for Amanda Nunez, no? No, it was preparation for Holly Home fight. So tell me the whole thing. I just want to hear the story. I want to, I want to hear the story. It was about one month before the fight. Um, and we came to Peru and um, actually uh, the next day, my sister Antonina, she has to come back from World Championship, Muay Thai World Championship from Sweden. And uh, it was a uh, like regular night. It was Sunday, and uh, one friend he came to us, and we decided to go just to have some dinner uh, in the local restaurant. And we just was sitting, uh, conver uh, conversing with him uh, all together. And I was uh, sitting facing towards the entrance, and Pavel was sitting like back to the entrance, and. Um, uh, and that moment I saw like uh, all armed gu uh, guys uh, entering to the restaurant and it, it was like a long restaurant, it was not wide, it was very long and they started from the beginning like to hit in person, to shouting at them and taking their belongings and like just everybody was so scared to move and I told Pavel what's going on, what's happened and uh, uh, he took this, it was like uh, three guys who uh, came into the restaurant and how we know after the police, uh, they said it was first guy who was on the street, like waiting on them. And so, um, and Pavel just acted very quick and he decided to defend everyone because they was very cruel to everyone. And uh, like Pavel, he know how to, um, uh, how to uh, act with a gun, how to manage the distance, everything. He just takes a decision and this, uh, the, uh, this fire gun, they start to shout in and like Pavel was hit by one. And, but uh, they, uh, in the final, they run away, everyone. And uh, like it was happening so quick, everything. Uh, then I, I grabbed the taxi and uh, we went to the hospital and uh, so it was the crazy the craziest night and like you you cannot do nothing you just wait and uh, then the next following week and I know my fight uh, it has to be and Pavel and my my like mind it was like so disordinated it was like totally I I didn't know what to do but uh, after like a few days uh, when Pavel started to feeling better he said that uh, we have to continue the preparation and uh, like step by step he start to heal up a little bit and to walk a little bit and uh, here we went through this crazy things and now we are here and I think all that happened it's uh, made us more stronger like not only me just all my team it's made us more like uh, unique like a single single one did the Peruvian police catch the robbers they did they did not at the same day of course they after maybe uh, during few weeks and uh, we get noticed that uh, they got them all. So, what's your favorite handgun? I very love Glock. Glock 17, Glock 19. Actually, I have the um, tattoo on my belly right here. It's a Glock 19. And there is uh, three bullets of nine millimeters. And in top of each, it says MMA three letters mixed martial arts <laughs> who's the better shooter out of the two of you of course pavel he teach me he started uh, everything that i love about the guns he started of this and uh, he's been in soviet military he's he has so much experience of shooting and every time uh, there is uh, something like new something new for me that he every time explained to me